How's it going guys? So this video we are unboxing and just do some basic testing or cutting uh, using a knife set that I found from Costco. Uh, this knife is called Changshan uh, L1 series two-piece cleaver set. So um, I guess it's got a Chinese style uh, cleaver knife and a just a bone cleaver. So uh, which would be interesting to compare because we do have a um, Chinese style cleaver right here, which is the Shin. Um, I think this is a VG10 steel uh, Damascus layered uh, cleaver that we bought actually a few years back and it's, it's still going strong. It's a very versatile, good knife uh, that retains the edge sharpness uh, much, much better than a $10 stainless steel, uh, you know, general chef's knife that uh, I have laying here in the kitchen. Um, what we also have is another, um, I believe this is also VG10, if not v VG2. Uh, this is the Enso um, Japanese style chef's knife. And I think this is an eight inch uh, that I did a review a while back, um, but since I did quite a lot of knife reviews back then, I haven't been using or testing out knives. Uh, mainly because I don't cook. Uh, my wife is, is, the, is the main chef in the house, so uh, pretty much I bought those knives that I you know, really enjoyed using, and now I just don't use them anymore. And the only knife that my wife uses is actually the Chinese uh, cleaver uh, right here. So I think it will be interesting to take the package out and just to compare the two cleavers mainly um, and see if this one from Costco, which only costs, I think, $39 for the whole set, which is, you know, really, really cheap. Uh, this one that we bought, the VG10 Shun, um, I remember it was close to $200 uh, at William Sonoma when we bought it. The Enzo 8-inch Chef's Knife, um, I think it's about a hundred dollars and uh, it looks pretty cool again Damascus with kind of a hammering style on the top those are mainly cosmetic but it's also VG10 I believe um, and this one is probably the most comparable because this one costs uh, I think $15 I bought it at Walmart it's actually quite a useful knife it's stainless steel so it doesn't retain the edge sharpness as well but once you sharpen it, it still cuts pretty good. Uh, this one uses a, I think what they call the German steel, uh, which they have a special code for it. I think it's called X50 Chromo V15. Uh, it's, it's a special steel that's very popular in German knives. Uh, so let's just open up the box and see what's inside. like this is pretty much it um, the box is pretty big but the knife knife set is pretty small actually so what's this it basically just says it's sleek as slim perfectly contrasting boldly angled lines and smooth curves a start of a dynamic balance and sharp focus okay um, this is a knife set in a paper box let's open it up quite a lot of uh, tapes around the knife set. Um, here we go. Wow, it's actually quite heavy. Both of those knives are actually quite heavy. Um, this is a Chinese style cleaver. And this is a bone cleaver. So now come think of it, I think this is actually not a this is not a I would say a chef's knife. This is mainly designed to chop bones instead of cutting uh, meat and things. Uh, with that regard, then I, I think it's kind of hard to compare those knives. Um, again, because the only cleaver I have here is a really, really cheap um, cleaver that I bought 
a long, long time ago uh, from Walmart. Um, so I think this is the only thing that's comparable if, if they're actually just general cleavers for cutting bones instead of chopping vegetables. And the, the reason I, I'm suspecting that is because both of those are extremely heavy. Like this one is super heavy. Actually, let me just show you guys the weight. All right, so this one is 482 grams, which translates to uh, 17 ounce, which is a little more than a pound. So a pound and one ounce is this bone cleaver and this you know Chinese style chopper cleaver is 15.5 ounce. Again, quite heavy knives. So if you kind of have small hands and uh, you like, you prefer lighter knives, you're gonna find those way too heavy. And again, in terms of balance, it's very front heavy. Um, if you look at the, the back, both of those knives have very, very thick backs which tells me that those are for chopping bones more so than cutting vegetables and meat, okay? Um, so, yeah, it's, I mean, I'm surprised because I, I didn't know those are actually cleavers for chopping bones only. Otherwise, because most of my knives here, this one, even though they look very similar, like even similar in terms of size, uh, this one is quite lighter. So the Shun Chinese style cleaver it's only 11.4 ounce, okay? So um, there is a sharp difference in terms of the weight it feels in your hand. Like when you hold those up, the shun just fe feels slightly better balanced. Um, the um, the Tangshan feels uh, from heavy, you know, right off the bat. I don't have any bones to chop, so I'm not gonna review this one, but it seems like it's quite heavy, again, at more than a pound. Um, any kind of bone that you want to chop, you know, once you do that action, I, I have no doubt it's gonna chop the bone quite well. Uh, just look at the thickness on the back, on the backing of the knife. And in terms of, you know, construction, they actually look pretty nice. And uh, this, this design detail is kind of interesting. It's a whole bunch of inlaid steels that they kind of polished out. And the handle is a polymer. It feels like a plastic handle. And this is a one piece design. Um, it looks like the tang is integrated um, as, a, as, as at the body of the knife. Uh, same with this Chinese style cleaver. Uh, it's a one piece design, okay? And again, the handle is actually very comfortable, okay? And it, it indeed looks pretty nice with this semi-polished uh, looking um, like whitish polymer right here. And uh, in terms of, you know, um, let's see, in terms of like, uh, I'm gonna actually change my camera angle a little bit so you guys can have a better look in detail of the knives. All right, so, Getting closer, I want you to see the construction or the edge smoothness on this large bone cleaver. And again, look at how thick the backing is. It's, it's very, very heavy, guys. Um, and this one also very top heavy. So it, like if you hold it like this, it have a tendency to fall from the front. So I think it might work to your advantage if uh, your style of um, cutting is actually very, you know, front heavy. You don't you don't like to apply a lot of meat, like over. Uh, you don't like to apply a lot of force when you're cutting uh, like this kind of motion. But you like to cut in this kind of motion. It it would help you with digging deeper into the um, into the meat or whatever that you're gonna cut. Looking at the angle, this looks like a probably like what, 12 to 15 degree angle. So pretty um, pretty, pretty steep angle, if you, or like a pretty steep angle if you ask me. And if you look at the shin, I'm gonna have you guys look at the, the tang. And again, throughout the years of use, the handle has held pretty good. This is a, um, I, I believe a synthetic 
handle as well, but quote me if I'm wrong. And again, this is also a one piece design from the Shun. And just compare those two knives. But the weight difference is significant because the thickness on the back, again, it's obvious. One is designed more for chopping motion and one is for general um, light duty vegetable cutting and meat cutting. With that said, putting another handle for you guys to compare. So I noticed um, on the Chinese cleaver, you can see a little imperfection right here. And you can also see the polishing marks uh, close to the front of the handle, kind of with your naked eye. It doesn't see on the camera, but I can kind of see the handle is not as refined as compared to the, uh, the Enzo or the Shin. But it's definitely comfortable to hold in the hand. And I have a fairly small hand and the handle is actually quite slim. So I would say this handle is, is pretty good. Um, general sized handle that's good for either small hands or large hands. Uh, this one uh, is my cheap knife. And again, it's a pretty silly handle. Looks cheap and it's not a one piece design. It's like uh, uh, being stuck into this handle. Okay, so if you look at the cutting angle, I would say the cutting angle of the cleavers are pretty similar to this one, but uh, actually quite different compared to Look at the Enzo and the Shun. No. All right, I have two pieces of meat that I am just gonna do a quick cutting comparison and tell you guys how I feel about, um, I guess mainly I'm just gonna use this knife to cut the meat, let you guys know, compare this knife with the Shun that we have. And uh, those two are probably gonna be the closest comparison I have for you guys. Um, so let's just get started. All right, so I have a piece of uh, Kenry Rolls, this New York strip steak, and I'm gonna chop them into, or slice them into thin pieces um, so my wife can cook some dishes with them. And uh, let me go wash this knife first, and then we can start cutting, and uh, see you guys in a bit. All righty, so first I'm gonna use the shun to start cutting the meat. Um, hopefully you guys can see. So I just heard my cat. She's gonna come over and try to steal the meat from me. So I'm gonna try my best to keep her away. All right, so this is what the shin feels like when cutting the meat. And I'm gonna try this one. Again, it's heavier, so it might actually help in st stabilizing the meat while I'm trying to cut it, okay? Wow, interesting. So as I suspected, um, again, this is right out of the box, very, very sharp. And uh, quite interestingly, this cuts um, quite a lot better than the shrin over there because of the added weight. Uh, the weight actually keeps the knife, um, it actually makes the knife just digs into the meat and hold it there instead of having the meat jumping around like crazy when I'm using the lighter weighted uh, um, shun knife. So it actually makes better cut compared to the shun. I'm gonna try the shun again. Try the Tang Shan. Okay. 
So the Cong Shan makes it easier to dig in to the meat. However, because of the thicker profile, uh, I just uh, am not able to cut a as thin slice of a piece as compared to using the Shun. So next, I am gonna actually try to use my knife, the Enzo, um, and give it a try. The Enzo is much, much lighter, probably less than 10 ounce. And uh, um, again, Japanese style chef's knife. Um, so let's give it a try and see if there's any difference and which one works better for cutting steaks into thin slices. So in terms of the Enzo, it's much thinner. So it gives much, much better control. Uh, and I'm able to cut a much thinner piece compared to using the Chinese cleavers. So that's the advantage of the, uh, the Japanese style chef's knife. However, this requires significantly more force to push down and cut through the meat, okay? Um, the easiest one for now, the easiest is one to dig into the meat is actually the Cangshan uh, Chinese cleaver that we just bought from Costco. Yeah, and as you can see, it takes me longer to cut through one slice of the meat. I have to do more rocking actions to dig through the meat. And uh, definitely takes longer. But in terms of control, as you can see, I can cut a much better, much thinner slice compared to any other two knives. So this one can cut the thinnest slice. This one almost as thin as the Japanese style chef's knife. And this one cuts the thickest piece of uh, slices. Um, however, this one is the easiest to dig into the meat. I don't have to use any like I don't even have to press down. I pretty much just slice and the meat just comes off the steak. So I'm able to cut much faster. And again, because this knife is, is new, it's, it's uh, I can tell you guys it's, it's sharpened quite well uh, right off the box. So you are gonna be really happy with the performance right out of the box. Okay, so it actually makes me want to use this knife for the rest of the cutting. Um, yeah, it's, it's heavier. However, once this thing is laid onto a piece of meat, uh, the weight just disappears because that weight actually works into your advantage. It makes cutting the meat so much faster, so much faster. Like I don't have to dig in. I just pretty much slice through and finish the cutting. The downside, the downside of course, slightly thicker piece of meat, but does that matter that much? Uh, probably not, it really depends on what you need. Like if you want precise control and you want a very thinly sliced meat, um, the shin would be a good compromise. It gives you thinner slices, it's slightly heavier, and it cuts slightly quicker compared to the slowest one, which is the Enzo, which gives you the most thin cut However, it is the slowest one to use. It gives you best control, but it's slowest to use and it takes longer to cut through the meat. And again, we're talking about the speeds and comparisons just from a basic home kitchen. I'm not a professional chef. Um, I occasionally cook and those are my observations. Okay, so um, in terms of the easiness, the Cangshan is definitely gonna make your cutting job much, much faster in terms of whatever you're gonna cut. It just makes the cutting job much, much faster, okay? And uh, in terms of weight, of course, this one is the heaviest. Um, will that make you fatigue? It really depends. If you have a style of cutting that actually you don't use quite a lot of uh, force, you just, rest your, um, you just rest your knife on the stuff that you're gonna cut and just slide through, uh, I think this knife is gonna serve you a pretty good purpose. Now, we didn't we didn't test this one, and again, we rarely, rarely chop any bones. So I would say this might be a nice addition. Um, if you really just need a good, reliable kitchen knife, you should get this Tangshan um, cutting set. 
and that's if you like the Chinese style uh, cleavers, which are pretty versatile and it cuts through stuff pretty quick. However, not anybody or not everybody is really um, can can be really um, getting used to the Chinese cleaver style of knives. Uh, a lot of I know a lot of American chefs are probably going to be most comfortable with just a general uh, you know Western style chef's knife. This is very versatile for me personally. I also like the Western style knives. Um, that's why since I bought uh, this uh, Japanese style <laughs> knife from Enzo, I, I rarely use them. The, most, the knife I use most is actually the cheapest one, my $15 Walmart stainless steel knife. Um, so really, knives are a highly personal thing. You can spend a lot of money, uh, get a knife that's very well made, that gives you better edge sharpness retention. However, not anybody is gonna notice that difference, especially if you're just a home chef, you do your general home cutting every day, your knife, even though the it, you know the best kind of knife, uh, is gonna get dulled as time goes by, and it would require a, a sharpening again to make the edge um, you know sharp again. So really, it depends on the style of cutting, how often you cut, and how good of a knife you want, and how much money you want to spend. Um, to that regard, I think the Changshan uh, L2 series of cleaver set, if you like the Chinese style cleaver knives. This is a good set to get. Um, it's heavy duty and it's very sharp right out of the right out of the box. Uh, for general style cutting, I would think that this is gonna be more than enough for everyday use. And again, as with everything uh, Costco, if you don't like the knife, you don't like the performance, or you think the knife is not for you, after you try it, you can always return back to Costco and get a different set. Because I remember Costco also had a full uh, Japanese style chef's uh, Japanese style chef's knife set for sale for just a little bit more. Uh, if you want to go that route, again, the choice is yours. But for the money of forty nine dollars, thirty nine dollars uh, for two sets of knives, it's a great value. Um, and again, I, I don't think I touched on the uh, the the steel of this knife. It's a popular German steel. Um, and uh, it didn't really say where this knife is made, but I'm gonna assume that this knife is actually made in China. Let's see if we can find anything that says where it's made. So, yeah, it doesn't really see where the knife is made, but I highly suspect the knife is gonna be made in China with German steel. This steel is on a uh, the hardness hardness scale rated at 56 to 58 which is actually a it's a it's a more it's a harder steel compared to the stainless steel that you usually get from a cheaper knife so that means this knife is going to retain the edge slightly better than a regular stainless steel uh, but it's not going to retain the edge sharpness as as well as a vg10 steel which I believe had a 59 to 60 harness scale um, and or like a VG2 st steel, which is gonna have a much, much harder harness scale. But with those harder, uh, with those steels that are harder, um, it's very prone to chip. So really there is a balance. It's all about which preference that you're gonna get. Each knife is gonna have their own advantage and disadvantage. So really the choice is yours. I'm not here to say you must buy this knife because it's the best. I'm just saying this knife probably sits somewhere in the middle range of, um, of the knife performance that, can I get, that you're gonna get for the money that you're gonna spend, okay? So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. I hope you found this uh, comparative uh, video helpful. And if you did, please do hit the like button or sub subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.